y cantado. Oye, Nigeria, Nigeria, rock to Bosu, rock to Bosu, rock to Bosu. Guys, from top to bottom, like sincerely, because that, that guy is seems to been going on recently. But God forbid that we continue going on like that, guys. So, guys, I'm going to just dive into this video now. Remember, in our last three videos, we talked about elections and I asked how prepared you were for elections. If you've not seen that video, I'm going to be dropping the link on this description box. I remember telling you that I was going to bring out the aspirant in all the um, political party, and we are going to analyze each of them. So this video will be all about that today by the way if this is the first time i'm watching my video thanks for stopping by my name is mm jeremiah and i create content like this please i want you to subscribe i want you to like and i want you to share these videos guys okay like let's go deep so guys everything i'm going to say is in the public space i didn't make up everything you can also do your researches now basically this video is for people that has been indecisive they don't know who to vote they're confused so i'm just going to um clear up your doubt so if you're still doubting i don't know who to vote they're all the same this video is just basically about clearing all those i'm going to be mentioning the um the main parties that we have contesting that is the pdp the apc the lp and the nmp okay now let's start with um PDP. The candidate for PDP is Atiku Abubakar. Okay, he is a retired custom officer. I think he served there for like about 20 years or so. Then Atiku Abubakar was a vice president to um, Olushego Obasanjo. I think that was for eight years, 1999 to 2007. And guys, during that period, according to the book that Olushego Obasanjo wrote called The Watch, you can go and check out that book. It was power towards you guys. It was power. Yeah. I have no personal issue with that people. But if I then, with what I know about that people, which you can read in my book. Okay, read the book. Are you a member of his family? If, with what I know about that people. If I have put article forward, God will not have forgiven me. Okay. He actually called it article a shameless liar. Okay, guys, that's not even the thing. During that period where he was vice president, he was accused of siphoning public funds, guys. Public funds to to a US um, offshore account through his wife. His account that was in US was actually, actually tried and sentenced. When article gets to know that he was about being investigated in US, you know what article did? He sold off his property that was in US and relocated to Dubai. That is where he is still now. Now he calls himself the unifier, guys. The unifier. But something happened recently that made us start doubting. Like, guys, I don't know if you all know about the Sokoto case. Deborah Christian girl that was murdered in Sokoto. Guys, I think condemned to that thing. After a while, I think I deleted that tweet. Remember, you're a Muslim. A Muslim committed a crime. You came, you complained, and after a while, you deleted that tweet. People keep asking, like, why does he have to delete that tweet? And according to rumors, we heard that the Islamic extremists told him that they were not going to vote for him coming 2023 because of that he went and deleted that tweet now you will recall on the 23rd of march this year when i stood before you and nigerians and declared my interest to run for the office of the president of the federal republic of nigeria in that statement i made a commitment to five issues one to pledge to unify this country and that was why i referred myself as a unifier have searched everywhere but i couldn't see a clip guys that would bring a good light to article i have not seen so much for a unifier as i'm talking to you guys now article is in dubai what is he doing in dubai to someone that is coming as a president you should need to be here to actually see what the masses are going through but he's in dubai he comes and does the election stuff and go back go back to dubai since he left us guys let's go to an apc or uh ahmed tinebo <laughs> 
<laughs> guys i have to laugh here please sorry <laughs> he was an accountant before he ventured into politics full-time now um Tinubu was once a governor of um, Lagos State. He brought um, innovations to infrastructure, to raise base, even to civil service. Guys, I will not even lie to you. Bola Tinubu is loved. He's loved by people that love him. After he came down from being a uh, Lagos State governor, he was still so much involved in Lagos politics. He was working like a godfather. And after, over a while, he got that name, Jagabam. He was still in charge of Lagos State Street Finance. He was he, he was a lot of things, guys. When you talk about politics in Lagos State, I don't think you can call two persons before calling Jagabam. That's Bola Ahmed Tinibu. The way Tinibu was asked of his plans for uh, unemployment, did you know what he said? Okay, let's watch this video. What do we eat? Cassava, uh, bando, uh, corn. Guys, 15 million youth to army. 50 million youths. Do you know how many they have in army already? I don't think they are up to 300,000. And you are and you want to recruit 50 million youths. That means you want to recruit the whole Nigerian to me. And, and he said we should eat corn. Now the question you ask, does he have a child in the army? Does, he, does his children eat ekba every day and corn every day? Do they? Do. Now the reason why is that he claimed to have given us Buhari guys. Like, <laughs> can someone even brag about that? Like I gave you the current president. Now there's this recent video that David Houdini is posted. Now watch that video. I will not say anything no but let me tell you everything you're seeing everything i'm talking about guys is in public space including this video that i just posted so you can actually do your investigations by yourself no be me talk the next one it's um lp that's labor party and um, now the aspirant for labor party is peter obi gregory peter obi gregory was uh, a banker and a businessman before he got into politics what actually brought him to limelight was when he, when he became a governor of anambra states for um eight years now guys for those eight years that peter obi was a governor of anambra state he was impeached twice uh -huh. he was impeached twice now the first time he was impeached let me not use the word okay, the first time he was removed from power because okay the thing was that after the election he was supposed to be a governor but someone else became the governor so that person ruled for a particular time before um peter obina and uh, went to court won the case and stepped into power so for those people that that person was already ruling they were not counting it for peter obi so when peter by the time peter obi came and ruled for like i think um about one year one year i don't even think it's up to a year the four years of that tenure has already expired it will be went to court again to fight that case he won that case and continued drilling in the second time he was removed from power guys this is the interesting one was when he was accused of refusing to inflate budget guys okay see what happened so you go and check my record as the governor i was impeached for three reasons one my office had a bu approved budget to be renovated for 298 million naira. I renovated everything with 43 million 200 thousand. My lodge to repair and renovate the lodge where the governor lived, which is me, was 486 million naira. I did everything with 81 million naira. Number three item was I was saving money without the authority of the house. From day one, I said, I said, we must save money. And that went through. For eight years, I was governor. Go ask any contractor. Whether any contractor was sat with me to talk about what is I'm entitled to, inflated any contract, any supplier, anybody. And when I left office, it's record. I left 75 billion. 500 million dollars at that time because it's public money 
preparing and put up his office or budgeted for 298 million guys Peter B came home and repaired that office after he repaired that office he spent he spent only 43.2 million and kept back the remaining money they were looking at him then i said okay repair government's house this house this house we are talking about is Peter B's house Peter B's house that he was going to be staying that he was staying while he was the governor then i said okay repair it was better that he should repair that house with 486 million guy peter did not better that house with 81 million and kept back the money that was when this people got angry guys i said no 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 this money has been signed already this money has been budgeted already you're supposed to bring that money let's all share it let's not share it and peter b was like no they had things to do with money this was how peter b again was impeached peter b took them to court won and went back to six during primaries peter b was contesting under um pdp but after he why he left pdp and went to join the labor party that's the lp and that was how he became their presidential aspirant okay let's watch a video of um peter will be so when i leave We know anybody gratuity. We know anybody pension. Mm. We know anybody salary. Oh, you not here. And when I hand over, did it in public, I announce this. And I say, we get three banks for Nigeria. Bank number one, Access Bank, they still there. The managing that that and the person they call Ike in Mokode. I say, Ike. I have in your bank 12 billion naira for the 50 state. million dollars for the state. Wait to wait. Uh, uh, separate my bag because of enemies of progress for the state. The 12 billion naira na for uh, number state. Wait, to, number state. wait, the 12 billion naira now you convert to dollar. I mean, no, no, I they tell you why you did. I say, managing director yeah. in your bank today, mm. Anambra state government, huh, we get 50 million dollars. 12 billion now. Say yes. I say, give it to this man where they come in. Nine billion As governor. governor. I call down one bank. I say, Elezoti. Now he be managing director. Yes. Stand up because they're there. I say, I get in your bank. 50 million dollars, 12 billion now. Say yes. Say, give it to this man. Now they come in. I call Fidelity Bank. I say, Legend idea. Now even managing director. Say yes. I said I gave fifty six million dollars to a billion dollar even to this man. Okay, after then guys now let's talk about NNP the presidential aspirant for NNPC is um Grubi Kwankwaso. I I hope I pronounced it well. Okay. Kwankwaso was the one um, gov um, governor to, um, to Kano State. I think he is loved by his people. There isn't much I can say about Kwankwaso. I think he has been um, just there. He was once in APC for some reason best known to him. He left NPC and went to op um, and opened a new political party called NNPC where he is the um, presidential aspirant for that party. Okay, now I'm going to be playing a clip of Pan to sure, you. Whatever we are going to say to Nigerians in terms of failure of uh, APC and uh, PDP is what everybody knows. And uh, nobody is in doubt that whoever they put will only continue with the bad work they have been doing in this country. All these people I have called, um, Atiku Abubakar, Peter Obi, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Okay, let's start from Atiku, guys. Atiku has been contesting since God knows when. Since God knows when, he has been contesting for president. Now, what do you see? You see a desperate man that really wants to be a president of Nigeria. Okay, Bola Tinubu, on the other hand, has used his mouth to say that it is his turn to be a president in nigeria like guys i don't understand it is your turn like is it done by turn now meanwhile peter obi says he's not desperate to be um, a president of nigeria the thing is that people have succeeded to make this about um tribes unfortunately it is east the north and the west so they have succeeded to make this all about tribe but guys this is not all about tribe now i would want you guys to um 
do more research i am not a politician i might not even be the right person to tell you this but like this is like the little that i know now i want you to do your own um, research choose the best and the most competent person like i said everything i have said is in public domain i didn't make up anything if you know that you have a contrary opinion to what i have said you can comment in the comment section by telling me your opinion it's allowed you can Thank say you so much for watching this bye